Right now, thousands of young people are looking to the skies. They are following the Flying Classroom, a project from pilot Barrington Irving. You may remember he set the record for the youngest pilot to fly solo around the world at age 23 a few years ago. He was also the first African-American to do so. He's headed around the world again, but this time bringing the experience into the classroom. AOPA Live's Paul Harrop found out how. And I said I wanted to become a pilot. He's already a record-holding pilot, but he may be accomplishing his I biggest feat yet. Barrington Irving has hundreds of middle schoolers sitting still, quietly listening and paying attention. They are enthralled with the idea of the flying classroom. So our flying classroom project is basically using a business jet and transforming that into a real-life magic school bus. We're going to travel through Asia, Australia, and Indonesia this year, and there's so many students around the world signed up that will follow a curriculum designed around the places we're flying into, and the researchers and scientists will be working. The Round the World flight is intended to engage kids into science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, or STEM education, with the idea of getting them interested in aviation careers. And this trip around the world is so big, it takes a really big map to show you exactly where he's going. The red dots outlying the Hawker 400 XP's flight path. And at 16 of those red dots, Irving will go out on expeditions to places like Nike headquarters to see how science plays into the kicks, or to video game company to see once and for all why geometry isn't just something invented to torture eighth graders. And while he's taking to the sky, the flying classroom wants to bring the ideas down to earth for the students. We need to get directly into the classroom if we're very serious about getting more pilots, getting more engineers in our industry. Charles Bolden is one of Barrington's biggest supporters. But I have been inspired by him for, for many years now. He's also the administrator of NASA and a big fan of the flying classroom. This is exactly what we need to try to get kids interested in aviation, not, not just space, but in aviation. But most importantly, as Barrington said, getting them interested in staying in school. With hundreds of kids packed into a hangar at Signature Flight Support, Barrington starts the journey with a wave. Hoping to create ripples that turn the tide in aviation. At Ronald Reagan National Airport, Paul Harrop, AOPA Live. Thanks, Paul. The journey will take three years. Irving has been doing transition training into the Hawker, nicknamed Inspiration 3. He will fly with an experienced crew.